What up, guys? It's Carson Gosso here. So today, we are at Athletic Factor out here in South Florida. I'm gonna take you through a back and by workout and really just like go through it and analyze it and break it down for you guys. Instructional video. Let's go. All right, guys. So first things first, we're in back and by. Anytime I'm doing anything upper body, I always get the blood flowing and warm up. You don't wanna stretch right off your breather because you can cut some upper tears. Warm up my shoulders and everything. So you know, I'm like really good. Some like really lightweight curls. Just get some lightweight, five, 10, 15 pounds. 15 pounds, pushing it, this cool. Warm up, let's get to it, baby. All right guys, so we're starting out this workout after the warm up, of course, with cable rows. These are great, they really get your mid back. You wanna really keep your elbows tucked. It's not always about the weight, remember that. Lift with your mind, now you're eager. I'm with it, forward a little bit. So this is called concentric movement. Eccentric movement. Concentric, eccentric. So you know your first set, you want to do a little lower weight. I like to do a lot of pyramids, so I do high volume. So I'm gonna do five sets of this. Starting low, up, and then back down from the last set, drop set. Another quick pro tip with anything with back, if you can, use just your fingers. And try not to use your thumbs, because as soon as you use your thumbs, you're activating your arm, and we're aiming for our back. So use it like some claws. Keep those thumbs out, not really engaged at all. Boom. All right guys, so the second workout, we're just doing plain wide grip pull-ups. They're great for the V taper, AKA the base of a physique. All right guys, so the next workout, like I just said, is lat pull down. You wanna really just focus. I'm using just your lats. It's all about mind body connection. This is for that V taper, wide back, get those lats so you can fly away. All right guys, so with the pyramid sets, I didn't really break this down. I'm not doing like 12 reps for each one. So since you're starting lower, you're gonna like start high in a high rep range, like 12 to 16, whatever works for you. Pyramid, you're going up and back down with the weight. So the next workout is we're gonna do single arm dumbbell rows. Keep the elbow tucked, pull in. So you're using that straight lat. And then you'll, you'll hit some traps and uh, you're gonna rumble with as well too, but mainly your lats. So that was it for back. You know, just finished up with a low back extension. Now we're going into preacher curls. So honestly, preacher curls are my favorite bicep workout. And then come in, like doing dumbbell. You do arm. I like dumbbell because you're getting the same weight on each arm. Come down to where you're fully tense, but you don't want to go too far where it's like relaxed. You want to do a time under tension. Boom. And I do a little twist at the top like this and really just forces that blood in there. It's all about that control and that squeeze, baby. Focus on that contraction. Think about that muscle. All right, guys, so I'm doing three sets on this with the standard, and then I'm gonna do two sets after that. I'm still on the preacher curl, but hammer curl. And the hammer curl is like this. And instead of hitting like really low, like inner, you're hitting more like a peak, so. So the next workout that we're going into for more biceps is gonna be some cable curls. Grab it. So I come up, elbows locked in for isolation. So I'm gonna do 12 and then do a drop set. So I'm gonna drop the weight and then just rep out till failure and I'm gonna do that three times. Build that lean muscle right now. That's my goal. Everybody goes are different, but that's what I'm doing just so you know. And once I really start feeling myself losing the form, because as soon as you start losing the form and stuff and using other muscles, it's just not good. So this is the last movement for bicep. Honestly, it's just a great finisher, especially if you have the same goal as me right now to build lean muscle. This is what we're gonna do right here. So I'm gonna go one, two, until I hit five on each arm, and then I'm a static hold. Five, static hold, five, five doubles. So this is the last back workout. I don't really do deadlifts right now just because I have a little issue in my back. But there's nothing wrong with doing stuff that's tailored to you. Just because someone else is doing this, you don't have to do that. Don't compare yourself to others. So you want to keep that chest up. Squeeze. Squeeze. Push your legs. Then the next time, you do 15, 20, and then it starts burning. And then you do 30. And then the next time, 35. Obviously, it's back and by day, but you can always do abs. Use them every day, so you can hit them 
every day. So this is one of my favorite ab workouts. And this one's gonna help them grow. If you wanna get that pack that everyone comes out, boom. Get these inverted crunches and then you can add some weight. If you can't add weight yet, that's fine. Do them without weight and keep getting better and better. So do 15 of those and I go straight into Russian twist, which really get your obliques. You gotta love the process, baby. Love the grind, love the burn. Only good can come from this shit. The gym is not only just good for your body and your health, but it's also good for your mental health. Alright guys, so that was a really good back and by workout. I hope that I informed you on some things that you can implement into your training methods as well. I hope it taught you some stuff. Remember to like and subscribe for more. I start bringing these more and more. I'm gonna do like fitness, lifestyle. I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna get into pranks soon, so be tuned. Quick note, make sure you get protein in as soon as you can. Within 30 minutes is optimal, uh, whether it's a shake or a good protein meal. If you want to stay shredded, if you're bulking, carbs are your friend. But let's get it. Life's good. Keep working. It's all about the grind process. Love that shit. Let's go.